हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स 2025 टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू द पार्ट सी एंड बिलीव मी आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दिस क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स सो दैट यू विल गेट द 4.75 मार्क्स इन द 15 सेकंड टाइम पीरियड हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर you can sub follow and subscribe my youtube channel so that you will get the more notifications related to the examinations now if you look about this question which is related to the csr net february 2025 and it is belongs to the part c if your reaction after seeing this question related to this man fine and you believe that this question is one of the difficult question but i can solve you this question within the one minute time periods and if you watch this video till the end definitely your reaction will be change from of to the wa fine how you can solve this question in a couple of second first of all can you solve this problem with the help of the simplex method can you solve this problem with the help of the graphical method or can you solve this problem with the help of the dual simplex method the answer is definitely yes you can solve this problem by any one of the method but how much time they are needed they are needed at least 10 minute time period 10 minutes se kam samay to nahi lagega solve karne mein in teenon method se but believe me once you are in the examination hold kitna samay aapke paas hai kisi bhi question ko solve karne ke liye 1 minute ka ho sakta hai aap meri is baat se agree kare ya na kare but aapke paas maximum 1 minute hai hi hai एक किसी भी एग्जामिनेशन में इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने के लिए चाहे वो रियल है इधर इसे कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस रियल रियल लीनियर एंड मेनी मोर आर देर आपको एक मिनट का समय ही मिलेगा फाइन अगर आप पूरा पेपर अटेम्प्ट करना चाहते हो कॉन्फिडेंट के साथ हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन इन फिफ्टीन सेकेंड और फिफ्टीन सेकेंड और यू कैन से विद इन द वन मिनट टाइम पीरियड इफ यू ऑलरेडी वॉच माई दिस लेक्चर पी वाई के लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम विच इज अवेलेबल एट माई यूट्यूब चैनल then definitely you can solve this problem in a 15 second time period now let's start how you can solve first of all is it possible for you that you can make the x1 plus x2 from the given constraints definitely not why because one of the constraint is greater than sign and if you look about the constraint 1 and 3 can you add can you multiply something so that becomes x1 plus x2 not possible fine then now look at that how you can solve this problem but uh, dear students i hope you can like and comment on the video based on your likes and comments i will only upload the next video related to the solution of the feb 2025 your target is to find the value of x1 and x2 that means x3 is no need so firstly you can look about the x3 your constraint is x2 plus x3 is less than equal to 0 fine one more constraint you can see from the x2 plus x3 is my greater than 0 fine so from these two cases what you can observe x2 plus x3 will be 0 fine but both are my positive number so this happen only when x2 is 0 x3 will be 0 fine now you get the x2 and x3 i can substitute this value in the given equations constants x1 will be less than equal to 5 and from the second constant i can see here so can you find the value of the p x2 will be 0 so the value of the p is half less than x1 less than equal to 5 so therefore this value is my maximum value this value is my minimum value so that means a and the c options are cancel to kitne second lage aapko solve karne ke liye fine उम्मीद करता हूं आप वीडियो को लाइक एंड कमेंट करके जरूर बताओगे वेदर यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस अप्रोच और नॉट नाउ लुक एट द बी एंड डी वेदर द ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन सो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ द पी इज माय फाइव फाइन नाउ यू कैन सी द सेकंड कांस्टेंट्स ऑप्टिमल पॉइंट इज फोर वन जीरो अगर आप इसके ऊपर पी की वैल्यू निकालोगे यू विल गेट द फाइव अगर आपने इस ऑप्शन को टिक कर दिया तो आपके फोर मार्क्स कैंसिल हो जाएंगे बिकॉज दिस ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग Why it is a wrong? It's a very simple. What is the meaning of the optimal solution? That means it must satisfy the given constraint firstly. 
So is it satisfy the constraints? You can see the third constraint x2 plus x3 is not less than zero. So that's why this is not the feasible solution. So once it is not a feasible solution, that means it is not the optimal solution. The only left behind is my D is the right answer. But how you can say whether the D is right or wrong? How you can find that? You can see you have the three coordinates x1, x2 and x3. We have obtained x2 and x3 are always zero. Your target is to find the corner point, not the optimal point, only the corner point. Fine. So first of all, you can see whether they are satisfied the given constraints or not. So you can see half less than equal to five satisfied. One is greater than equal to one satisfied. Zero is less than equal to zero satisfied. Now what are the corner points? So the corner point is x1 corner and second x1 corner is. So these two are my corner points. Out of these corner points, 5 comma 0 comma 0 is my maximum point and half comma 0 comma 0 is my minimum point. So yes, D is my right answer of the problem. So see how easy you have to solve this question. You don't need to solve simplex method graphical dual. If you want to practice more questions, you can see 2011 to 23 questions. You must watch. I must say you must watch about my this lecture. आपको LPP में कोई भी doubt नहीं रहेगा. Fine. अब मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ आप इस video को देखेंगे and your reaction will be changed from the oof to the wow. Let me know in the comment box whether you are interested to watch more videos. I will upload them based on your comments, like and comments. If I get the good number of likes, more than 500 likes on this video and more than 500 comments on this video. I will upload the next video very soon. Till then, you can share this video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.